What's up guys, Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a little bit of a news slash information type video because Dueling Network is in trouble again. It doesn't cease to amaze me. It's almost like a, a yearly thing where this thing, this entire site just gets in trouble over something, whether it's someone DDoSing them, whether it's some sort of copyright claim that causes them to temporarily shut down. Like, these things just happen like clockwork with DN whenever DN is involved because of the nature of how the software is run. But basically, DN currently has had to remove all of its card images from its database. Well, maybe not all of them, but certainly like 99% of them because there's been a copyright claim being made by a, uh, by a company in association with the anime. Konami apparently is not involved in this at this stage, but this is a fiasco that sort of happened years back where DN was temporarily taken down because of copyright issues with the card backs. The backs of the cards look exactly like the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game cards, and they had to change those. Now, this is a much bigger scale of having to change image assets because it's literally an image asset for every single card on the site and in the directory. But, like, the site has overcome this sort of thing in the past, and I could see it having the potential to continue to do so. I mean, the site is still up, and you can still play games, you just have no pictures for your cards. You have the names, you have a black box, and you have the text box. So it is still a playable software. It's just not as ideal as it could be. It's definitely not going to be easily identifiable on what cards are, stuff like that. That's going to be an issue until this sort of thing gets sorted out. But all the information we have for it at the moment will be linked in the description to yu gi Organization, and I've got it right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and read it. It's actually already on screen as well, in case you haven't noticed. But this is the extent of the information that we have. CND order filed against Dueling Network. CND stands for cease and desist, in case you were wondering. That way you don't have to wonder anymore. A law firm claiming to be acting on the behalf of Nihon Ad Systems, NAS, an animation production and licensing company that currently manages many of the rights of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, has filed a cease and desist order to the popular third-party online Duel Simulator. According to head administrators from Dueling Network, the website was ordered to remove all imagery relating to the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game and animated series. Currently, there is no evidence to imply any involvement on behalf of Konami. In addition, based on the information we currently know, the CND order is limited to DN. It will not affect the wiki-hosted Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia or our own site, Yu-Gi-Oh! Org, which are legal entities independent from DN and should be protected under the rules of fair use. More information will be posted as it is made public, as they have said. So, I'm going to be following this. I'm certainly going to be following this and see what happens. Whether or not Dueling Network actually goes away, I don't think it will actually affect anything really because the most of the people that play on Dueling Network are competitive-oriented people. Most people that are like casual-oriented or don't really care that much go to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Dev Pro, and the competitive community is very much the minority. So, like, there's no real threat of the community breaking apart if uh, if Dueling Network goes somewhere. And plus, all these people could easily go to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Dev Pro because the reason, like, they're kind of safe from this for the time being because they are not browser hosted. They are not, they're not hosted through browser. Like, literally, like, all the art assets and everything are stored on your computer. So there is that that kind of keeps them a bit safe from this sort of thing for the time being. Um, but only time will tell if anything even happens with them. Or if DN will even go anywhere. Dueling Network by no means is the glue holding the community together at this point. The community can easily go elsewhere like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Dev Pro or something like that. In fact, if Dueling Network went somewhere, there would probably be more of a push to make Dev Pro or Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro more universal. Because currently we have like three or four different Yu-Gi-Oh! Pros, including Dev Pro. And some of them can work together, some of them can't. If DN actually went somewhere, there would be an actual like inflow of more people that are wanting to play and it would put a lot more stress on servers, it would do all this sort of thing, it would kind of have to make people, the groups come together, and probably DevPro would actually probably end up winning out, because DevPro itself has the smoothest running interface, and the probably best servers, simply because like the servers seem to be a lot better with DevPro than they are on like Checkmate and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy, at least from my experience, that may have changed in the past couple of months, but DevPro seems to have the best server capacity and the best user interface for supporting a larger number of people flowing in. And if that's the case, then DevPro could easily just take off and be the go-to place to go, like DN was. But basically, that's basically just it. Like, I'm going to be looking at this and waiting to see what more information comes out of it. If anything happens to DN, then, oh, well, then damn, there goes, there goes my option for a competitive play. I guess I'll just have to just go and actually play people IRL for hours and hours and hours because DN just made it really easy, but... 
Other than that, I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Like I said, there's this on screen that you can read. There's a link to it in the description, so if it gets uh, updated, you can definitely go to that. But other than that, there are other links in the description to my Facebook pages, my Twitch pages, and all that. Check those out if you are so inclined. But other than that, again, let me know what you guys think about this, because this is uh, this kind of this this is kind of just came out of nowhere. Like I went to get on DN this morning, and I saw there were no pictures, and I was like, ah, neat. This is a thing now. But other than that, that's it for this video. And as always, guys, take care.